After how long? In this August 2020 report on ABC 10. First I called PG&E, they said they didn't know. A PG&E customer in the dark, one of 250,000 to be impacted by rotating power outages that night after the operator of California's power grid, Cal ISO, declared a stage three emergency. Can you say that California's energy officials are doing enough to prevent blackouts from happening again? Well, this letter says that they are concerned that despite their efforts, that there hasn't been enough done. Kathy Sandoval is a former commissioner of the California Public Utility Commission, or CPUC. She's referring to this letter released Thursday by the CPUC president, California Energy Commission chair and Cal ISO CEO, explaining why Cal ISO needs to increase energy resources for July and August this year, blaming the increased demand on climate change, heat, and the drought. But if it were about climate change and heat and drought, the entire West would be experiencing the problems that California is experiencing. Former CPUC President Loretta Lynch, more critical of Cal ISO, accusing them of manufacturing an emergency so they can buy power at any price. Not at a reasonable price, but at any price. So what they really did was they gave it up to the sons of Enron. And she warns the costs could be passed down to consumers. Oh, guess what? We reached out to Cal ISO, but they declined to comment on this story.